Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, we have a list of 12 properties. And if you wanna come on a tour of homes, the link is over there. Why would you come on a tour? Why not just do it yourself? Well, you've got someone seasoned who can tour guide you through the whole process. It's much more focused than just going to open houses. And uh, so efficiency, and also just because spending too much time online at a certain point becomes kind of a diminishing return is there's only so far you can get online and a lot of people uh not just in our industry but in a lot of industries think they can do everything on the computer and you can't you've got to get out there you've got to see the the layouts you've got to you know experience the neighborhoods for what they are we've got a really good guide up there it will never ever replace the sensation of getting out seeing smelling tasting if that sounds weird enough uh what it's like in these homes because then what will happen is you'll finish your tour you'll come back online and everything makes so much more sense in terms of where the homes are and also the kinds of layouts so it takes about the time to watch a movie about two hours we run them seven days a week and the link is just over there and be sure to check out the guide too we're just coming out with a big update on the guide that should be very exciting let's get started Okay, so Farmstead, uh, this one's about a 1,600 square foot end unit, three bedroom. I just had a client who emailed me. He said, Chuck, what's my 1,600 square foot home with a finished basement worth? And I, I said to him, I said, top of my head, probably 475 to 500. So at 419, I think this one has a, a lot of space, probably the most that you'll find in this price range. There is a common element fee, so the house is freehold. You basically own the house, but you're attached to the road, which is a common element. So it's probably the simplistic version of a condo um, in the sense that the road's the condo, but obviously you have to ship, pay fees into that. Garbage removal and snow removal are your big costs there. It ends up being, I don't know what it is in this complex. It didn't list it in here. It's probably between 50 and $100 is what I guess. Uh, that does impact your monthly costs, but it's also at this price point still in the package deal looking pretty good. So kitchen is separate. So if you like to be in the kitchen and kind of pay attention to everyone else, this is probably not the right layout. But if you like to be away from the action when you're cooking and just kind of having your own space, then this is the kind of layout that could work for you. Uh, overall, I would think that most people in today's day and age is, are, are, are more, um, I guess, uh, agreeable to having the open concept layout. And you've got upstairs laundry as well. This room can be a little awkward because how do you kind of position your furniture? You almost have to kind of walk through the middle of the room. So this space here, uh, what do you use it for? Do you put the TV over here and then do you kind of have your couches on this side and then look across or the other way? So uh, interesting, I, I guess the, uh, the, the configurability could be a good thing, but I always find it tricky when I look at this room. Um, I always think, how would I position my furniture? And I, I kind of run into a bit of a roadblock there. Okay, next up we've got uh, Costigan, the Ambassador Building. Uh, we've got a big daddy up on the top floor. There's six floor buildings, so 602. Uh, and we are 1,200 plus square feet. Um, parts of this condo have a nine foot ceiling, parts don't. I guess they run the, uh, the ductwork through. Uh, it looks like a nice unit. The photos are really dark though. They should have probably changed the exposure. And uh, I don't know which way it faces. If it faces the parking lot, it's not as good as facing the green space in these buildings. Uh, it is one of the larger units in here. We haven't seen a lot of success over $400,000 in any of these buildings. So, you know, we'll see what happens with it. We're going to skip uh, past a few. Uh, go to Stout Crescent, 589.9. Now, when I see a semi at almost $600,000, I think, I don't know about this, but this one's got a lot of space. It says 2,900 square feet. Remember, that's total living space. Your basement is not valued as much as your upstairs square footage. That's the way the builder sells them is total square footage. Just be careful you're not assigning the same value to both this part and then the basement. However, the uh, the twilight shots look really nice. Uh, that is a wonderful shot. I've looked at 
thousands of listings over the years and I look at this gallery and I think this is probably one of the best ones I've seen. The house looks great, but I think the way it's presented, the composition of the photos, I just think it looks really good. And I have no vested interest. It's not my listing. Uh, I just think they did a, a real bang up job on this one. Nice finished basement here. Um, and then the yard to me is the real treat, even just really tasteful wallpaper, uh, completely moving ready and uh, a great looking house. So no complaints at all at this one. And I actually think that they're priced pretty well at 589. Okay, so next up is Cedar Bray. And uh, we were just talking about the, um, the lack of inventory over the last few months in some of the old neighborhoods. Talking specifically yesterday about Timberley, which is between Maine and Derry, and between Thompson and Ontario. So this one is up at Dorset Park, which is between Maine and Steeles, and Thompson and Ontario. So uh, generally a little bit older of a neighborhood, although this was one of the last phases of this neighborhood. And, uh, you know, it's not a bad looking home at all. It's got a nice uh, kitchen. It, they've opened the walls up, so you have more of a, a kind of a modern open concept. If you don't like parquet floors, you could put carpet in upstairs for probably like three bucks a square foot. I just found a great carpet deal in Burlington if uh if you want that information let me know and basement looks good uh there's a couple original things like this counter and sink it's like it looks like a melamine drawer uh vinyl floors that kind of stuff but it's basement so anyway you've got a pool plus you've got a patio there may even be some green space on the side here and some of the homes on Cedarbury back onto either thompson or steels this one does not so if you look at where it is it's uh one of these homes here, I don't know, it's this one right here. So it's so it's got a pie-shaped lot, and then it goes back this way. Uh, you've got all your shopping over here. You've got Tim Hortons there. Great highway access as well. Last one up is the Big Daddy on 14th Side Road. Now the location is really, really good. Tremaine and 14th Side Road is nice and close to, to Milton. It's uh, really ideal when you think about uh, being able to go to the grocery store, uh, even kids going to school, and you're not, you know, if you forget, I always think about in the country, if you forget milk and you're way out in the boonies, that's an hour to go back and get the milk and then come back to your house. Uh, 5,700 square feet on 10 acres, uh, plus a whole bunch of landscaping. So the math on that, I mean, 5,700 square feet plus the basement you're you're probably valuing that i don't know what it costs to build i'm guessing maybe 250 a square foot that is a guess don't don't hold me on that but that would mean that the house itself is probably you know the cost just to rebuild this thing is probably 1.5 or so the land is worth at least seven figures 10 acres this close to town plus you've got all the landscaping and all the extras that they've put into it what would a luxury home be without a movie theater i find this a little strange here i mean it, like a wall and then a wall and then you've got an archway i mean they're probably trying to avoid pillars but i would say make it all open concept i think that would that would be a better look maybe it looks cool and interesting in person um i just know what people like and it, something like this can sabotage a deal at this price range people can get very picky and you'll notice the um, the tremendous amount of area rugs. And so maybe they went to the store and said, we don't want carpet. You want an area rug. So we've got more area rugs here. Uh, another rug there, one more here. And uh, you will find no shortage of rugs in this home. And they're probably not, not included that garage, you've got a uh, double and a double, and then that's at least two cars deep. So you're talking eight cars in here too. Uh, that's artistic, I suppose, but it's nice to know those stairs are all wood. And that is quite a home there too. Even just to pave this driveway, you'd probably shake your head at how much that would cost. Uh, so anyway, I don't know if this is below replacement cost as we call it in the industry, biggest challenge for this is just finding someone who will write a check for it uh, because there's very few people that qualify to buy a 3.4 million dollar house there's also the bank sale of the former athletes place on dairy that we highlighted 
I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago. So let's see, there's some competition in this range too. And like I said, very minute details in a home like this can, can throw off your very small pool of buyers. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want to come on a tour, remember the link's just over there. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Thanks for watching.